All right, so Valentin went ahead, he removed all the clay. Water would be trapped right between the two houses here. It's just too flat. Even if there was a little bit of slope, and there probably is, it's just not enough to get the water out of the turf grass. So when you dig out all the clay and you replace it with 14 inches by 14 inches of stone, and we like the inch and a half round rock because it creates more void, it moves more water. Then we get to the point where we break and we have some fall. At the discharge end of this run, we have a low pressure pop-up. And what that means, this does not have a spring. It doesn't take anything to get this to pop up. Now we drilled a bunch of holes in the bottom of it so water will not sit in it. It'll take a lot of rain for this to actually pop up. In a moderate rain, you will not see this pop up. Because of all the holes that are drilled in down below, it'll just dissipate into the subsoil. So always trim your fabric to fit. You don't want to have this flap go all the way to one side of the trench and the other go to the other side of the trench because there's drainage holes. We have our fabric punched twice, not once, but twice. We have enlarged holes put in this fabric so grass roots can grow through it. That way when they, when they start out, they're very small like a thread and then they'll swell up inside the fabric. Water will travel down the grass roots through gravity and capillary action and dry this entire area up because it's gonna go down into the stone, move through the stone, over to that area discharge, which in this case, the area discharge is just a low volume or low pressure pop-up. So this will work great. This will solve the problem with all the water that's been trapped between these two homes. All right, everybody, until the next video.